I'm here with Lindsay Harding of the Atlanta Dream making her first finals appearance with the Dream. You uh, got shipped over here this year, and so what does it mean for you to be playing at center stage? Uh, I'm really excited. You know, you play an entire season to get to this point to play for a championship, and some players don't even get this opportunity, so uh, I'm excited. And kind of uh, homecoming of sorts for you, you were the number one draft pick by the Lynx in 2007, and now you're going to be playing against them. Uh, I guess any feelings about coming here and going against your old, old teammates? Isn't that, isn't that weird how things just come full circle? And that's really funny because uh, uh, my family was saying, you know, you just you started there and you're coming back again. Uh, you know what, I enjoyed playing here. I enjoyed playing with the team that I had, you know, playing here as well. But, you know, I'm here with Atlanta and I'm one to win. <laughs> I'm happy for Minnesota. You know, they've the owners have been here so long for them to work with them and them to play for a championship is awesome. Uh, and it's awesome for the WNBA. But uh, no, no bad feelings. I just, I'm just a competitor. I want to win. Well, of course, there'd be something wrong with you if uh, <laughs> if there wasn't. But in addition to you, between in this series, there are three number one draft picks: Simone from '06, Maya Moore this year, all coming together. I guess what does that say about the development of talent? Angel in '09. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's four. Angel, yeah. So four number one picks. What does that say about the influx of talent over the last few years? Uh, and then on top of that, there's what three MVP candidates on the floor too. Um, <laughs> uh, it's you know, it just I just want to say how, how good the WNBA is and how athletic we are. Um, took us some time to get to this point, but I, I think it's I think it's awesome. I mean that just tells you how athletic this game this series is gonna be, how competitive it's gonna be, and how good it's gonna be. And what's different between the two teams because you two played each other in a home and home series back in June. Mm -hmm. Atlanta of course found their groove, came back from injuries and rolled to the playoffs in Minnesota went through a couple of growing pains themselves before they went on a tear and here we are. Well, you know, you, you can look back at it, but we were an entirely different team and, and so were they, you know. We got better, they got better. So um, it was funny, Coach was talking about it. We were like, God, that was so long ago. Was it our sixth game or seventh game? Yes. So, I mean, you, you can look at it, take what you want from that, but move on and realize that everyone had gotten better. And uh, what will you take from this series, whatever happens, uh, to help you uh, move along because I, Again, uh, this is your first finals appearance, and uh, five years ago, you know, the Lynx were struggling back in 2007, and like you, like you mentioned, uh, both organizations doing a lot of work to uh, get to this point. Atlanta was a quick rise, Minnesota took a little patience, but they got there. I don't think, you know, it's normal with what happened with Atlanta, you know, four seasons, two final appearances. I don't think that's very normal in sports. Uh, it's great and it's a blessing for me to be here and be a part of it. Um, like I said with Minnesota, it took some time but they're here and I know that the city is extremely proud of them and the ownership and everyone is extremely proud of them and it's great. Uh, what I want to take from this is you know, hopefully a championship is <laughs> what I want to take from it. But you know what, this is a great experience. It's about the journey. This is memory. These are memories that I'm going to have like for the rest of my life. How has the city of Atlanta responded to getting a second finals appearance? Because we saw one home playoff game, didn't have quite as many fans, uh, but then they go through Indiana, went on the road, and now finals are going back to hot Atlanta, as they call it. Mm -hmm. It is hot Atlanta. You know, the, the city is excited. You know, we have a lot of sports teams there, and, you know, so far we've been uh, very uh, successful and uh, we know that a lot of people are behind us from the TV things we've done media radio everything and trying to get the city behind us but we know that the city is proud of us and we definitely would love 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 to bring home a championship and how will this help I guess strengthen the dream fourth season in the WNBA and uh, kind of remind folks that there's a second summer team to watch outside of the Braves Absolutely. You know, it's been a little bit of a joke because the Braves are finished, but we're still going to come and to come and, you know, watch us and everything, you know, but we just want people to know, you know, we're here. We're professional athletes. We're playing for you, for your city and your team. And uh, speaking of city and maybe fans elsewhere, anyone you want to say hi to that might be watching this uh, before game one begins? I'd like to say hi to my mommy and my daddy and all my friends and all the fans in Atlanta. I need you to cheer extremely loud and make sure all of you get to Phillips Arena for game three. Well, well hopefully this will help uh, fill up Phillips Arena when game three comes in there, but thanks and good luck. Thank you very much.